Hey guys, it's Walt from Different Racing. I picked up something really cool today. This is called the Tote Goat. The Tote Goat, they started making these things, this company Bonham, started making the Tote Goat like in 1957, 58, somewhere right around there, all the way up to 1970. And of course, as the Japanese started flooding the market with small, inexpensive mini bikes, a lot of American manufacturers fell to the wayside. But this thing was designed primarily for off-roading, difficult situations, difficult terrain. I'll take those covers off in a minute here and show you the gearing. Um, we've got a 12-inch wheel in the back. I'm not sure what that one in the front is, but this particular one here is a 1966. So this has the extra, like, passenger seat. Got action, actual passenger pegs. Um, it, has in, it has suspension front and rear, which the early ones did not. That's a six horse Briggs, Briggs and Stratton engine. Um, what's really cool about this thing is this gas tank. Look at this gas tank they made. That is so neat. The early ones didn't have that. They just had a tank mounted to the engine. Um, this one here is kind of interesting. It's model 666 for all you people who are scared of that stuff. Um, got a front brake. Throttle is right, rather unique. Like you'd have now a separate throttle grip assembly this has like a cam inside of it that was machined that actually actuates the throttle kind of neat um once again these things uh this is a 1966 model uh they offered a ton of different accessories for them um there's a i found an interesting parts list that shows all the things you can buy and add to it um so what we're going to do with this probably is i like the color and I probably could, um, one, one side of this, uh, equation is going to say strip it all down and, and, um, completely redo the, the, the paint on it and stuff. And another side of me says just, uh, kind of resto mod it, get it run and clean it up and leave it like it is. Tell me what you think in the comments if, if you kind of agree with me or you want to go the other way. These tires on the front, believe it or not, didn't have any air in them. I aired them up and they're holding air. And when you look close at them, these look like the original tires and they don't have a drop of cracking in them, like dry rot. Kind of amazing. The back tire is a is a big old Goodyear tire in the back. That's some serious chain on this thing too. Well, let me pop the side covers off here and show you how they uh, how they got the gear ratio that they gear ratios that they wanted for this off-roading, which um, these things were designed for. Alright, with the covers off. With that screen cover off you can kind of see what was going on here they had a torque converter and it happens to be a a symmetrical belt torque converter not an asymmetrical like you see in a lot of the mini bikes now so you're coming up from here and they actually the bottom company made their own torque converters because they call it a climb away you can read it through the you can just see it through the sticker there on the old sticker Climb away transmission. So with that, it comes up to here, goes into the the top, the driven pulley, which is adjustable like like the modern stuff now, um, where it has springs for different, you know, it changes as the RPM changes. Then from there, through a double chain, which is seriously heavy duty, down to this sprocket. And then from that sprocket to this big monster chunk of chain, going to the back. Um, you can see the swing arm in the back. We've got a shock, um, independent suspension, front and rear. They've got their own design for the front forks. We'll have to delve into that. Um, but yeah, these had, uh, I guess the very first original ones only went like five miles per hour because they were designed to go off-road. But they they made, made changes to the ratios because most people want to go faster than five miles per hour. Um, I think the idea kind of these is kind of that Rokon idea. You know, where you can climb over things and climb up things. Supposedly these things have a lot of torque. Can, As I see people describe, they can pull a house down. Um, lots of different configurations. Some of these don't have the rear passenger seat. They just have like a rack for hauling out deer. You get an accessory rack to carry dead animals out with after you're hunting. All kinds of uh, accessories were available for these things and different models. Um, the 666 model just is about right in the middle of the whole... Uh, um, list of models that they built over the years um, so yeah I'm looking forward to this it's going to be fun I think it'll be very interesting once it's running 
I have to, uh, I'm gonna try to keep it original as possible. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the original carburetor on. I might go to a, a Makuni style carburetor like I've done on one of my other builds, but I don't know, I gotta, I gotta weigh the, the, uh, the differences between the two. Anyways, yes, this is the Tote Goat 1966 model 666. It's very interesting. Don't be scared. It won't get you. Um, tote Goat. So, yeah, we're going to get her running and we'll kind of go through the process with you. Oh, you know, with this cool gas tank, I opened it up and I looked inside. And it's not bad inside. A little dusty, but not bad, which is good because I, I think you can never find a Never find a replacement tank. Maybe somebody that had one. I was thinking if it didn't have something like that, I was going to make something. But since it has it, I don't have to mess with it, which is cool. All right, guys. Thanks for... Uh, if, you've, if you've got experience with a tote goat, leave some comments in the down below. and um, Or if you got uh, parts for a 66. Or you have literature or brochures for these things. I'm interested to see that. I'm sure it's out on the internet, but... I think I'll need a front fender, too, because it's missing. And I got a couple fenders in the deal, but I think they're for something else. They don't seem to fit right. So, um, yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Share this if you like this kind of thing. And uh, be aware the tote goat is coming. <laughs>